Hello everyone! Welcome back again to my channel. So, I'm ZA and today we will talk all about uh, how to choose the perfect and right uh, beauty regimen for different types of skin. So, let's start in 3, 2, 1. So, in choosing the right and perfect uh, beauty regimen, guys, first we should know o oh, alamin muna natin ano yung dif anong skin type na meron tayo. So, actually, may apat na skin type. It is what we call the normal, the oily skin, the dry skin, and the combination of the three type. So, which one kaya ang meron ka? At ano kaya ang mga beauty regimen na bagay at suitable para sa skin type mo? So, for those with normal skin, usually sa kanila guys is and they have the skin na wala masyadong oily at hindi masyadong dry. So, most of the uh, people na merong normal skin has few imperfections, no severe sensitivity, nor have a barely a visible pores in the face. So, yun yung nakakaganda, guys, if normal yung skin type na meron tayo. At saka, in choosing the right and perfect uh, beauty regimen, hindi tayo mahihirapan kung normal ang meron tayo na skin type. While dry skin, guys, is usually loses the moisture in our face or in our body. So, there are many causes why we have a dry skin. It's either in the climate or the behavior or practices that we have, like too much use of soap in the body on your face. Kasi nakakantanggal siya ng yung oil and moisture na meron sa face natin guys. Kaya nagkukos siya ng dry. As if meron kayong uh, yung type ng skin natin is dry. Usually sa kanya guys nagkukos siya ng redness sa face. Nag-iit siya. Nor nagbibigay siya ng feeling effect sa face natin dahil sa pagka-dry ng air. And the third is the oily skin. So, sa mga taong merong oily skin, usually guys, ang reason niyan is uh, uh, you have an increased amount of liquids in our surface, skin surfaces. So, it is sometimes uh, can give us blemishes nor pimple kasi nag extract ang face natin ng mga oils na sobra-sobra na nagkakos siya na magkaklag yung pores natin nor mag malagyan siya ng blackheads, whiteheads, na meron sa mga nose, sa part ng face natin. So, ayun siya mga oils. Kaya yung oily minsan, parang it's either you accept it, or nor para siyang uh, punishment para sa'yo. Kasi hindi din mahigap kung may oily face tayo. So, this video will teach you or will help you to choose the right and perfect na beauty regimen or mga gagamitin mo just to avoid or to lessen the oiliness na meron tayo. And last but not least is the combination skin. So, sa combination skin, guys, usually, partly lang ng face natin. May dry, may oily, or may normal. You can maybe have the three combinations or or even two combination only. So, depend, yan yung mga combination skin. Actually, meron talagang six na combinations na skin. Pero, hindi na lang natin i-include dito si sensitive skin at saka si mature skin. So, ibang side na naman din kasi yun. Kasi, yun usually kasi ng mga tanong ngayon, anong dapat or anong mga bagay, or anong mga beauty regimen for normal, for oily, or with a combination type, or yung mga normal lang din. So, we will discuss and I will help you to to see kung anong mas maganda para sa atin. So, sa pagpili ng cleanser na gagamitin, guys, there are different types of or forms ng cleansers. Mayroong cleanser foams, scrubs, nor yung liquid form lang. Kung dry skin ka, you, ha you make sure na yung content ng cleanser na gagamitin natin it's either a cream type nor an oil-based na cleanser. So, pwedeng naka-scrub siya, naka-foam siya, or yung liquid form as long as may content siya na konting oil nor creamy type siya na 
cleanser. Well, if dry, ay, sa dry yun. But if kung oily tayo, ang choose, ito choose natin na cleanser, guys, is a water-based na cleanser type. So, meron tayong mga samples. Mag-check nyo po ang mga samples ng mga water-based na mga cleansers. One of which nga masasuggest ko is a Celitec. Kasi water-based na meron silang cleanser. So, while a combination or a normal, a normal skin either. Ang normal kasi, usually you can choose from the both. So, pwede ka mag-cream type nor a moisturized type or oil-based type or you could also choose for the oily na water-based type. Yun yung maganda sa normal kasi hindi ka mahihirapan. Well, a combination guys, you have to choose. So, so kung part ni lang sa face natin, mas madami yung dry skin, you have to choose the type of cleanser na dapat for dry. So, if sa face natin guys, yung totality niya 60% is the dry while 40% is oil. You have to choose the higher percentage of skin type that you have. So, ayun. So, for those, yung sinasabi ko guys kanina is all about the cleanser. Iba din kung gagamit tayo ng toner. So, ano bang difference ng isang cleanser tsaka isang toner? Si cleanser actually guys is, ang purpose niya is to clean your face, to wash all the necessary uh, uh, ano yan, mga makeups, nor mga dirty from the dirt, from the dust, from the pollution sa environment natin. And nakaka-open siya ng pores. While si toner kasi guys, the same lang siya na kukos ni cleanser. Ang thing lang ng difference ng both is si toner is uh, parang siya yung nag-extract pa sa mga areas na hindi kaya ni cleanser. So, mas parang mas natatanggal niya ng excess, ng mas mabuti yung dirt na meron sa face natin. And si toner is uh, opposite from the cleanser. Si toner kasi nag-close ng pores natin. While si cleanser nag-open ng pores. So, yun yung dalawang difference. So, kung gagamit kayo sa dalawa guys, you have to choose first. You have to use first the cleanser. And after using the cleanser, you have to do the toning in your face just to close the pores at hindi siya malagyan ng dust again that would cause uh, blackheads, whiteheads, nor an acne sa face natin. Okay? Lastly, guys, in choosing the mask, facial mask, so, kung nakita niyo yung last last na vlog ko, guys, it's, I had a review tungkol sa uh, isang brand ng mask. So, ililive ko lang yung link below kung gusto nyo makapanood nun. But, in choosing a mask, guys, there are two, actually, two options for you if anong type ng skin ka. So, if oily face meron ka, guys, ang i-choose nyo na mask is what they call the clay mask. So, si clay mask, guys, usually, a mask siya na nag-help pang tanggalin yung mga ah... Uh, dirt na hindi na kaya ni toners, kagaya ng mga blackheads, mga whiteheads, meron sa nose natin, sa lining dito, ano pa dito, dito na side, dito din na side, at kahit pa dyan, uh, clay mask ang dapat gamitin, guys. Well, si normal, the combination and the dry skin, ang gagamitin niya, guys, is the hydrating mask, which is yung ginamit ko nung last na vlog ko. So, yun yung difference ng dalawa. Kaya, minsan, huwag kayong pili na pili ng mask kasi nga mask siya. So, i-choose nyo muna, guys, kung anong klaseng uh, type na meron tayo, skin type na meron tayo, before nyo i-apply yung mga mask or mga regimens ang papaganda sa face natin. Both masks can give you an hydrating effect or moisturizing effect after you use it. But, there is actually uh, much... Uh, much benefit guys kung ibebase nyo din yung mga clay, uh, mga mask na gagamitin kung anong skin type meron tayo. So, yun lang guys, yun lang kasi yung na-notice ko and parang hindi masyadong aware ang mga 
tao kung anong dapat bang gamitin kasi nga uso ng uso ng uso without even asking na tama ba siya or suitable ba siya sa anong type na meron ka. So, I hope guys, this video would help you and next time na magbibili kayo ng mga beauty regimen, I hope na uh, ibibase nyo na siya sa anong skin type na meron tayo para din uh, mas effective yung product na gagamitin at hindi lang tayo nagbibitin mismo sa brand niya. So, so, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments on below section sa mga question na gusto nyo pong sagutin ko. At sa tingin nyo na makakatulong ako sa mga questions nyo tungkol sa mga beauty regimens uh, according to your different kinds of skins. And I hope you would not forget me on my next one. And once again, I'm ZTA. Bye!